Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben. I am the founder and content creator for IncredibleTutorials.com. I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 9 tutorials. So let's get started. In Anime Studio, you have access to scripts, which are essentially extensions for the program. With these scripts, you can add to your toolbar, access new features, automate certain animation functions, create particle effects, and much more. You have access to some pre-built scripts right in Anime Studio, or you can download others and install them into the software. Or if you're skilled enough in coding, you can create your own. To start this demonstration, I'll first show you some scripts that are already built into Anime Studio. So if I go up to scripts, you'll see I have a few different sections here. Let's first try camera and I'll choose handheld camera. You'll see some keyframes have been created, but now when I hit play, you can see it has a very shaky camera effect. Again, all I had to do was click once and I now have a new animation sequence in the project. So that's one way a script could be useful. I can just undo this, go back here to frame zero, and now I'll go up to scripts and we have particle effects and I'll choose rain. Now you'll see on my layers panel, a particle effect or layer has been put into my layers panel. But now if I hit play, you can see it is raining in the classroom. Again, very easy one click process. You have many other scripts here to choose from. Scripts for drawing, for instance, I could apply a sketchy effect, polygon, star, and so on. You could import an image sequence, so a string of images back to back into Anime Studio. You have layer effects, some sound effects, and so on. So again, there is a lot to explore here, and I recommend you do so. But now, let's say you want to add to these scripts, that you want to install more scripts, or just see what's out there. You can always click on Other Popular Scripts. This will bring you to AnimeStudioScripts.com. If you're looking for scripts, I definitely recommend that you check out this website. It's updated quite frequently by users who create scripts, and it's pretty easy to navigate and you have descriptions for all of your scripts, as well as the type of scripts. If you want, you can upload your own creations to this website and they can be accepted and then displayed on the website for others to download. But first, let's click on the scripts button. And now you'll see we have a big list of scripts here. This is where you will go to download your scripts. Now again, you have different types, tool, menu, multiple, and so on. These will dictate how you install your scripts, which I'll get to momentarily. But let's say you find a script you like. You can click on it. You get a longer description of what this script does, and then you have the zip file here to download. So you can click this and download it to your computer, and then you can choose to install it. So now let's go to the installation process. What I have here now is my file browser with two windows open. The big window, the background window, is displaying the scripts folder in my Anime Studio 9 program folder. And in order to locate this, it may be different for you, but at least for me on a Windows machine, it's installed in program files, slash Smith Micro, slash Anime Studio Pro 9, slash resources, slash support, slash scripts. That is where you'll find the script folder by the default installation on Windows. So now, in my small window, what I have here is one of the scripts I downloaded from the AnimeStudioScripts.com website. This script is a tool, and I know this because it was labeled as such on that website. Also, most tools will come with an image. It's helpful to have an icon on your toolbar, after all, so you can refer to it when working in Anime Studio. So now, all you have to do from here is copy these files and paste them into the corresponding folder, or you can click and drag if you wish. So I will highlight all these files and then move them into the tool folder. 
you might get this window pop up if you are on Windows 7. So you can just click continue. And now the script should be installed in Anime Studio. So let's pop back and see if it's there. If you have Anime Studio already open when you install the script, simply close the program and relaunch it. And as you can see now on my toolbar, I now have an other area with the new tool installed. And that is all there is to it. The second script I have here is a menu script. Again, this is labeled on the Anime Studio Scripts website. What I want to do here is double click and go into my menu folder in my scripts folder and make a new folder for this script. So I can right click and choose new folder. Now, if you want, you can categorize this script along with other scripts. Let's say you're downloading a specific script that does a certain thing to a certain object on Anime Studio. Let's say it affects the bone tool or something else. You could create a folder that's labeled bone scripts. In this case, since I am just doing this for demo purposes, I'll type out my scripts and now bring back my download window here and then simply just drag all of these scripts into the my scripts folder. Click continue. And now let's relaunch Anime Studio. With Anime Studio relaunched, if I go up to scripts, I see a folder now or a section entitled my scripts that I recently installed into the scripts folder. Finally, there are scripts that you'll need to embed into your layers in order for them to work. The script I just downloaded works as a tool and as an embedded script. If I double click on this folder, you can see I have one script. Now, if you're ever in doubt if this is a layer script or not, you can always double click on it, open it up in Notepad, and from here you can see at the top it says function layer script. That's a good indication that this particular script will be used as a layer script or one that's embedded into one of your layers. So with this downloaded, let's now pop over to Anime Studio and incorporate it. So now in order to use this script, I would double click on a layer I want to apply it to, come down to options and choose embedded script file, find the script file, click open, and then click OK. And that is all you need to do. Here are a couple more resources you may want to check out. This blog is very good at Anime Studio Scripts. It has a lot of tutorials and can give you the step-by-step -step basics to get started on scripting in Anime Studio. I have the URL up on the video right now, so write that down and check it out. The other website is, of course, the Anime Studio Forums. As you can see right here, there is a scripting forum. So you can go in there, you can read up on other problems that people may have and find solutions to those. You can post your own questions and all in all, just get answers to any scripting problems you may be having. In the end, scripting in Anime Studio is very powerful. You can change the workflow by simply creating and installing new scripts. There are many resources out there to help you with this so be sure to use those to your advantage. And that wraps up this lesson. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I have many more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.